All right, what's up everyone? So uh, I wanted to make a really quick video, very impromptu, not scripted, not written out. I just want to talk. So uh, I recently saw a video on Instagram and Facebook. It was a video advertisement of a gentleman promoting the sale of his fitness program. And the problem, in my opinion, is that he was really pushing the, uh, the point across that they needed him. He was instilling fear into the prospective buyer's eyes and mind and that they were incapable of doing the program without his assistance. The first thing that he was really pushing was fear. So he was saying that, you know, don't you hate when you're fearful or when you're scared of going to the gym and everyone's looking at you and everyone's judging you? First of all, no one is judging you from going to the gym. Um, everyone's there for their own reason. Everyone is there during their own time. Everyone is there in their own space, you know, so whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or an expert, you're there. You're stepping foot into the gym for your own reasons to improve yourself, to improve your health, your overall function. You want to lose weight or you want to gain weight. You want to develop more muscle. Whatever the case may be, you're there for a reason. And if someone is there watching you or judging you or making fun of you because you're doing something in the gym that's maybe wrong or incorrect or something that a beginner might do, that's their problem, not yours. Do you understand? So they're the ones that have the issue. You don't. You might be doing something incorrectly or whatnot, but you can ask someone. You can ask a personal trainer. You can ask a friend. One of the cool things about this internet is that there's so many resources online. Like you can even go to my website. It's free. I've got over a hundred video exercise demonstrations by me that I explain how to do the exercises. So don't be fearful of doing something incorrectly or don't be fearful that people are judging you at the gym because quite frankly, they're not. And again, if someone is judging you or, or watching you or think, or you think that you're doing something improperly, that's their problem. And honestly, Believe me, they're not watching you. You might think that they are, but they're not. The second thing that he was talking about was lack of experience and lack of time and lack of even tools and machines. So he was saying that, you know, if don't you hate when you go to the gym when there's a lack of equipment and you're waiting around for minutes and minutes waiting to use the next piece of machinery. So that's BS because honestly, there's so many pieces of equipment that you can use while someone else is using the machine. Or if you're really polite about it and if the other person that's using the machine doesn't mind, you can work in with them between sets. Really, there's no problem in having a lack of equipment or whatnot. Like again, that's all BS. And the other thing that he was really pushing was inconvenience. And so he was saying, you know, don't you hate it having to drive all the way to the gym? Wouldn't it be so much easier if you could just do a workout at home? And so to answer that, sure, it would be easier to work out at home. Sure, it would be easier to not even drive to the gym. For some people, the, dr the drive to the gym may be a half an hour. Uh, for some people, the drive is five minutes. I myself will happily drive half an hour to a gym if I know I'm going to spend a couple hours there and, and really bang out a good workout. And the point of the matter is, there's no such thing as a convenient workout. You're always trying to better yourself. You're trying to push through these barriers. You're trying to break barriers. You're trying to get out of your comfort zone and into a space where you're challenged, where you're in pain, where you're not necessarily comfortable. So really, inconvenience, yeah, the gym should be an inconvenience because you're pushing yourself and it's work. Work is work. And if no one said it's going to be easy. And so if you expect that you're gonna get results from a 20 minute at home, easy workout three times a week, don't even have to sweat. That's all bullshit. Like honestly, you've got to spend time at the gym day in and day out. And so many times when people say, oh, well, it's inconvenient. I'm too tired from work or I have to wake up early already. Do you think that you're the only one? Trust me, there's people out there that are waking up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym or there are people that are working out at maybe 12 o'clock at night because it's the only time that they can put it in their schedule. So inconvenience, I'm sorry, but if you're, if it's convenient for you to work out, then I don't necessarily think you're going to get the best results because you've got to be able to push through and it's got to be somewhat inconvenient because 
you know, nothing that's worthwhile comes easy. So anyways, this isn't a sales pitch. I just wanted you to be aware of, you know, if you're seeing these things, like don't buy into that nonsense. Don't buy into that, oh, he or they, they are superior, you're inferior. I want you to let you know that you've got the tools within to get whatever results that you want. So just use your mind, think about it, get whatever, whatever the results that you want, you've got to just magnify them and think about them. So don't be fearful. Don't think of inconvenience. Don't think that the gym is inconvenient. Don't think that this healthy lifestyle is inconvenient. And also don't think of lack because if you're at a gym, you're certainly in a great space because sometimes people can't even necessarily afford a gym. So if you've got a gym membership, use it. Anyways, really, really quick message. I hope that uh, you can take something from it. Don't be fearful and uh, always try to push yourself, okay? So uh, in good health and good spirit.